Hey guys, Mac here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do portfolio layouts using Divi. So before we continue, let me show you the final design that we'll be aiming to design in this tutorial. So this is the site. In fact, it has an animation, but you're able to see this when I refresh right here. So I'm just going to refresh and um, see the animation come to life. So there we go. So this is the animation that I added. Right, so this is the final page. It has an overlay. So if I click here, this now expands to a large image, which you can cycle through to see the other images. Okay, so this is what we'll be designing today. There's quite a few steps that you need to, um, to apply in order for you to achieve this layout. But this is a really cool way of achieving a portfolio layout in Divi without actually adding a plugin. So let's dive in and let me show you step by step how I managed to achieve this. Today's episode is brought to you by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so over here we have all my images in the media library. So I suggest that you go into the media library and um, add all your images by clicking here where it says select files. Okay, so um, I'm going to come over here to my dashboard and um, let's add a brand new page. So I'm going to click here on page. And we're going to call our page portfolio, but you can call your page whatever you want. Right, there we go, portfolio. So I don't want this page to have a header and a footer. So over here on the templates, you want to go and click on blank. And then you want to hit publish. Great, so that page is published. So now the next step is to activate Divi. So I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on use Visual Builder. So in my previous tutorials, uh, I was going to my uh, pre-made layouts to start building our page. But in this case, we are going to start off by building this page from scratch. And by the way, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course that I'm giving away. It's called WordPress Mastery. The link to that is in the description below. So all you have to do is to click the link and you'll be taken straight to the uh, enrollment page. And as I mentioned, this course is 100% free. So go and check it out. But if you want to take your designs to the next level, I also have a course called Divi Blueprint 3. And right now it has a 50% discount and all that information as well is in the comments box below. Right, so let's go ahead and click and uh, create our brand new page from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch and then I'm going to add a single column. So in this column, we want to have a text module. So I'm just going to select text. So now I have my text module in there. So great. For now, let's just go ahead and save. And then I'm going to go back into my section and add a fixed height. So to do that, we're going to add some CSS code. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to get into my section settings. Click on advanced, custom CSS. And the CSS needs to be added onto the main element. So, so here is the CSS. It's just uh, height. Uh, 750 pixels and that's it okay that's all you need to add now let's add a background image to this section so I'm gonna come back over here to my content click on background and then I'm gonna come over here to the third tab and click the plus button so this is how we add our background image so depending on the type of website you'd like to create a, create a portfolio for uh, you just have to choose an image that works with it. Okay, so my first image here is going to be my image for my background. So I'm going to click on upload an image. So there you go. That's my uh, image. And as you can see, this is my height. So this is now that CSS code has made my height uh, 750 pixels by default, which is great. Right. So now that we have that image in there, we need to do a bit of work in here. So uh, let's go and add a gradient. Click this plus button. So over here, I'm going to add black as my first color and then white as my second color because we need to add a blending mode. Right. So let's go back to our image over here and over here on the uh, background image blend. I'm going to click on that and choose multiply. So now we can see that uh, the top of the image is now dark and the bottom of the image is now lighter. But we need to reverse this for, in order for us to get um, our effect. So I'm going to come back over here and uh, my direction now needs to be 360. So now we can see that uh, on the bottom here, this is where it's really dark. Great. So if you want to adjust the start and end position, you can also do that by uh, using this uh, slider. So I'm just going to bring it down a bit, maybe to about 70%. So that looks great. And uh, now it's time to save. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is to add a second section. So I'm going to click this plus button. It's going to be a regular section and a single column. 
So this time we are going to add a gallery. I'm going to select it. Right, so we might as well go in and add our images. So I'm going to click this plus button, select files. In fact, I have my, all my images in my media library. So I'm just going to go to my library here and select all my images. So for this example here, I need to have eight images. So, right, I'm just going to make sure that eight, click on select. Right, so what we need to do next here is you can see here where it says uh, images number. By default, it's set to four, so this needs to be set to eight. But of course, if you wanna add more images, you know, you can always add more. So right now, we can see that all these images have a description below, so I don't want that, so I'm gonna come over here to my elements and choose uh, show caption and title. Uh, by default, it's set to on, so I'm gonna set it to off. And also, I don't need the pagination, so I'm gonna set that to off as well. Great. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now I'm going to go into my row settings because we need to go in there and make you know, some changes. So right now we can see the width of the row is not really covering most of our page. So I want to go in and change that. So I'm going to go into my row settings, click on design, sizing, and we're going to make this full width like that. And then we're going to come over here to um, gutter width and set this to two. Okay, so that looks great. So these images now are now nice and big. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on equalize column heights as well, just in case at a later stage we want to add some more items in here. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead now and save. So now we can see that um, our gallery is now covering pretty much all that space. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add my background color to my section. So I'm going to click on section settings, click on background. And I'm going to make this black because I want this to blend into our image that we have here on the top. So I'm going to select my color. So now we can see that this background color is blending into my color here on the top, which is great. And this is exactly what we need to achieve. So the next thing we need to do now is I'm going to add some padding to our section. So I'm going to come over here to, in fact, I might as well just search for it. So the padding needs to be at the bottom. So I'm just going to add, let's say, 20%. And let's take a look. So that's a bit too much. So let's set this to about 10%. Okay, so we have our padding there. So I'm gonna save. So this is looking good so far. So the next thing we need to do now is to move our content into this uh, area here because it's way too low. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to my row settings and we need to add some margins. In fact, negative margins to be more specific. Right, so I'm just going to start dragging this now up. I'm just dragging this dial. So as you can see, my content is now being dragged into my top section. So you can just drag this until you're happy with how it looks. Right, so I'm going to save this. So now that looks way much better. So here we have the description of our page. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come over here into my module settings and... We're just going to call this My Portfolio. Okay, so that's going to be my main title. And then below that, we're just going to add some lorem text. In fact, I'll do it in text mode. Right, so that's my description text. And then I'm going to go back over here. So this here needs to be my main title. So I'm just going to set this to uh, heading one. Okay, right. So now we need to stylize this text. So I'm going to go into the design tab. So first of all, I'm going to come over here into my text and center this. So I'm going to center this. So now everything is all centered. And the next thing I'm going to do now is to stylize everything. So at the moment, my text is um, dark and we can't really read this on this dark background. So we need to reverse the colors. So for text color, I'm going to set this to white. And uh, we need to do the same for the heading text. So I'm going to come over here on the heading text and set that to white as well. Now it's time to change my heading text size. So I'm just going to increase this nice and big. So let's say 50 or maybe even 48. Okay. I'm going to make this all caps and I'm going to add some letter spacing to this. Okay. So that looks nice. I'm really happy with that. I'm also going to add some line height. So 1.5, in fact, 1.4 is fine. 
So what I normally do when, I, um, when I'm adding my content here is just to make sure that everything looks great on uh, the different devices. So I'm going to come over here to my tablet and we can see here that this looks great on the tablet. Then I'm going to come over here to the smartphone and again on the smartphone this looks fine. So I'm really happy with the, with the um, views. So I'm going to go back over here to my desktop and let's um, stylize my text here. So I'm going to click here and um, we're going to increase the size to about 18 and also add some line height. So 1.8 is fine. Now, uh, the width of this module is, I'm not really happy with that. So I just need to uh, reduce that. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and reduce this to about, let's say, 70%. Okay, so 70% and center it. So that looks, that look, that's looking great. Uh, the next thing we need to do now is to go over here to our spacing and add some uh, padding to the top, or in fact, some margin. Okay, so now I'm just going to drag this uh, slider here of the dial until I'm happy with how my text, is, my text is positioned. So I'm really happy with that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and save. Great. So we're almost done. The next thing we need to do now is to adjust our overlay. So I'm not really happy with the overlay here. So I'm going to go into my, my gallery module settings. And then I'm going to click on design overlay. So right now, if I overlay, you can see that my icon here is blue. And this is represented by this color right here. So I'm going to change that. Uh, let's change that to white. Okay. And I'm also going to change my icon color. So I'm just going to use, uh, let's go with this one here. That. Right, so right now we can't see our overlay color because I haven't applied it. So I'm going to come over here and uh, select black. But of course, black is too extreme because we need to see a bit of the image. So I'm going to add a bit of transparency to that. Right, so I'm just going to lower the slider here until I'm happy with the transparency. So let's just go down to about 66. Right, I think that's really cool. Now the good thing here is uh, this setting that I've added here applies to all the images because this is being applied to that single module, which is great. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead now and save. The next stage now is to add our animation. So the animation is going to be added onto my row. So I'm going to click on my row settings. And I'm just going to search for animation. And there we go. I'm going to go with the slide. So right now it's sliding from the center. I need this to slide from the bottom up. So I'm going to click on up just like that. But as you can see, that was a bit too fast. So let's play around here with our animation duration and also the speed. Right. So the intensity, let's just lower down the intensity. So we want it nice and subtle. That's great. And the delay, let's see. Right, so I'm going to adjust the delay to about 150. Okay, so I think that looks great. So now I'm going to go ahead and save. So let's save our final page and exit the Visual Builder and see how it looks. And before we go into the Visual Builder, there's something else that we can add here. So I'm just going to go back into my module, uh, click on Design, Border. So I would like to add some rounded corners here. So I'm just going to add maybe about three, maybe even four, five. Okay, so that looks better. Save that, save the page. And now I'm going to ex exit my visual builder. There we go. So this is now my final portfolio page. So the images here are very, very important. So make sure that you use images that are high res and uh, images that of course, are all the same size as well. Today's episode is brought to you by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. So this does it for today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe and also the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. And by the way, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will also give you access to my Divi Blueprint 3 course, which pretty much teaches you everything that you need to know about Divi in order for you to design awesome looking websites. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.